Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Today, what's in my hand? It's not a degree or a well done pass. It's an MOT failure. Failure. <laughs> Fail. It's like being back at school again. What I'm trying to say is even I can miss something. Now, I've done a few videos on make sure you get it all right for the MOT. Um, I rode this bike up and down, it was good as gold. When I took it to the MOT station, um, I had to brake hard. I noticed a little bit of juddering. Um, didn't pay much attention to it. What was it? It's something that's in this little bit here that I've had to buy another panel for. So, what's in here? Found on... front disc warped which means as you break you get a uh, like a, a catching basically um, you'd think actually that you get a bit of jamming or, or um, binding on the brake and it isn't it's a disc happens missed it so easy to do I'll quickly show you the basics of it but today's video is just to say you know even me super work can miss something simple. Not a lot of money though. Uh, I thought I got a second hand one, £15 delivered next day, which is actually really quite good. I contacted the seller. They say it takes up to three to five days. I messaged him, said please, and um, he sent it out Friday and I got it Monday. Uh, I'm, I'm actually happy with that. So, quickly show you what needs doing to get this off. Then I'm going to take this nut off, and the bolt is there. So you're going to want ratchet on there, under this one, tap it back through. You need a little bit of push on the back to get this wheel out, then we've got to take this off. Now these bolts here, there's three of them, make sure when you put this in here in this top tip, don't just try and whack it on. They gather dirt, clean out as much dirt as you can, get a little hammer and when you put that on, whack it in. What you don't want to do is round these nuts, otherwise it's a world of pain. So, a little bit of WD-40 on here. You just pop that on there, as I said. Get a little hammer and tap it in so it goes right the way in. Don't round them. Very, very bad. And that's it. Push the bike up at the back. I want to get a bit more wood on here. Push the bike up at the back so it's right at the front. Get the wheel out. We'll have a look at that in a second. 14 mil. Just undo it. Something small. Tap through. This allows the bar to go out the other side. Not tap it hard, it's just literally just a few taps. And then, hold the bike. Out comes this, keep that safe. And your wheel is off. Now, on this side, famous for the speedo drive. Do not knacker that. And in fact, put a little bit of grease back in there and that will keep that running happy all day long. And that's as simple as that. The wheel is going to be off in seconds. Push a bit to the back wheel. And it just comes off. How easy is that? Brake pads. They're fine. Clean it up. This is what I was trying to say. This is what I was trying to say. Just tap it in, okay? Don't try it otherwise. And if you look, you can see one already looked like it was going to get a bit funny. So I made sure that I tapped it in and just took a little bit of the um, ground dirt out. So you're going to need a big screwdriver to help you. There's an insert space on this side of the wheel here that keeps just folding out every time you try and get the damn thing back in it pushes out just piss you off big screwdriver leave it a little bit it pops in you can also have to open the brake pads okay so make sure they're open and get this disc in let me show you this disc two brake pads close so you can't get the wheel up that pisses you off and then you're not going to get this in here because of that little washer insert there so leave it open that's nice and done and then this side, make sure you do not damage the speedo drive. 
Okay, make sure that goes in nicely. And then push the bolt in, but it's a little bit of wiggling and wiggling and wiggling and wiggling. It will pee you off, but a big screwdriver and it will massively help. Then make sure the wheel turns. We're gonna have a look at that. So you spin the wheel and check the speedo. And the speedo works lovely. And as it slows down. Must check that. Make sure you put it in nicely. Now I put a lot of um, white grease in there. Pushed it all back in nicely and where the bracket be. Don't be up and down. If it don't look right, don't fix it all together. Speed doesn't work, the speed of driver is 10, 20 pounds more than you needed to pay. Nicely on, now I've got to test and make sure now the brake isn't fluctuating like it was before. And this is ready for a retest. The other little moans that the uh, MOT inspector had was the valve stems. A little bit perished, a few lines across them, but not to foul the MOT. And that's always worrying because that's like ten pounds to take the tire off and put a new one on there. And um, where else was it? Valstem and the rear suspension I just put on, but the original bush down there, a little bit there. It says a little bit of a movement. Still nothing to worry about. They're only advisories. They'll go for years. But the front brake was a definite, really bad failure. So now that is done. Not that you ever see what was wrong with it. I can't. Not by eye, I'll just put it on a real flat surface, I might be able to see something, I guess, but that is rubbish. Right, let's give this a go up and down the road. And now this should pass an MOT and be very happy with the new owner. Young lad wants it, uh, tall lad. Now, hmm, mama video of the Peugeot V Click. Uh, um, he got a cheap budget BMS, something like that. I mean, he's a tall lad. He must have looked silly on that. 14, not much fun. Breakdown all the time. We know about that, don't we? These, much more enjoyable, nicer to ride, a lot taller. And you can jack these up, as I said in the other video. Don't need it in this one. Job done. Right, MOT tomorrow. The screwdriver. Remember to get that speeder drive nicely in. And remember to WD-40 and whack with a hammer to get the bolts in. You round them, weld a pane. Now, I mean, they are thick as well, then. You're not going to draw them out and do an easy job of that, believe you me. This is a legal MOT certificate passed. Minor advisories, nothing to worry about. Happy days. Now, I can't do a video to give you top tips, and here are my best top tips for you to keep your bike on the road. This isn't necessarily for an MOT, but it will keep your bike on the road. If the bike doesn't want to start as well as it used to change clean the plug okay take it out you might better give it a clean put it back in again if not change it we only a couple of three four pounds air filter you can get away of washing it or change it five ten pounds well worth doing and your bike will start and run better second top tip if you notice your bike pulls away fine it used to or pulls away slower but reaches a plateau where you go, eh, where before it used to keep accelerating, now you're getting 30, 28, 25, and it doesn't want to go. It's the rollers. In all the years I have opened up the Variate system, I have never been able to just clean and put the rollers back in. Never. I've always had to change the rollers. So if it's doing it, buy the right rollers. Find what weight you've got. I use six grams for the speed fight in these, but look at what weight it should be, okay? The good middle weight. Too light and you get lots of pull away, too heavy, and the bike won't pull away as fast as it used to, and it will take ages to reach the high ground you want to get to. Also, while you're there, check the belt. If it's baggy, buy a new belt. Belts, you know, five, ten pounds. Rollers, five, ten pounds. Minimal money, keep that bike happy. Always use quality 2T oil, I've always said that. You don't have to use your fully synthetic 20 pound stuff, but don't use a car loop, car plan, happy shopper, green stuff for lawnmowers. It's not the same, it is just not the same. Last top tip, brakes, as you've just seen I've done here now. And that was warp disc, past MOT now fluctuation. But it's your pads, okay? Front and back pads, most of the time on these little bikes, mopeds, they are scooters, <laughs> they are shoes at the back. Front ones, they degrade, they go. Now, what you'll notice is a grinding, okay? You'll notice not so much less stopping, but you get a grinding noise out of it. 
the moment it does that, get new pads. Don't just keep going. Don't think it's going to go away. You're going to damage your disc as well if you keep going. And it could fail. This can come out. They could come off. They could lock in. Anything could happen. Just don't do it. Okay? If your bike becomes sloppy around corners, check your tyre pressure. Check your tyre tread. As I showed in my um, part four about how the tyre can wear unevenly. Keep an eye on that. There's something wrong at the front. Okay? Don't ride with ball tyres. You're going to come off. And make sure they're inflated. Stick a 30 PSI and everything. You're going to get away in happy days until you can get the right. Some might be 28. Some might be 32. Whatever. It, but 30 is a happy one. Okay? I can't stress enough to look around your bike as well at the weekends when you're washing it check all the bolts are in there look at the last couple of bikes i've had with bolts all over the place if you have to cable tie the bloody thing then do so but otherwise try and find a bolt a nut a screw somewhere and tighten it back on it's your safety the bike will be better as well and all these flat panels you know what the hell's going on dear Look at the suspension on the other one. It was the headstock as well as the front bearing that needed tightening up. But all the panels were loose. It must have been horrible riding that bike. There's my top tips. Just follow them and you'll stay on the road. Good old WD-40, man and spray. Make sure you're making it all the bits up and down. You know, and you notice like the rear shock on this one. That when you're riding along, it must have just bounced. You know, there was no dampener. A lot of stuff come with skill. If you don't know, ask a friend, watch my videos, watch these videos. Not just mine, anybody's. These are top tips I can give you, and you'll stay on the road, you'll get to where you want to go, and you know that every time you get on your bike, the damn thing will start and won't let you down. Back to this video, well, it's all done now, isn't it? Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Keep watching it. This is the end of this little set. I didn't think it was going to fail. <laughs> But there you go, see the lightest and simplest of things still fail. Um, the valve stems on the tyres, they are a bugger. There are a few little marks on this one, not failure, but if they blow or you're riding along, you know, all of a sudden you've gone. Simple little things just to keep an eye on, as well as your lights and indicators and the basic steps, just staying alive. You know, you put an indicator on it flashes really fast. You know, one of the bulbs are gone, do you know? And that person riding along there, you pull out in front, bang, you're dead. Injured, and the first thing they say, it didn't work, mate, it's your own fault. <laughs> Back to like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this nice little selection of 10, I think it was. Let's see what's coming up in and later on. Bye bye.